Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to tell you how I'm staying organised in my second year of uni. Because unlike first year, second year counts, so I need to be super organised and also I am not only doing my degree but I am also on the society for the English Lit Committee here at my uni which also is, you know, more work to stay on top of. I'm in charge of the social media so I'm kind of like running that so I need to keep on top of that as well as you know uni life as well. Before the video starts if you do enjoy my videos please don't forget to subscribe like and comment when you're done and yeah let's get on into showing you how I'm staying organised this year. Also let me know down below um, my previous video I filmed on the same day and I filmed that with a light and with my window blind shut but I'm currently filming with literally just natural daylight and the lights in my room so let me know which one you think looks better that would be very helpful so the first way I'm staying organised this year is using my little to-do list this one is from Skinny Dip I believe yeah we had a Skinny Dip shop here in Cardiff I'm not sure if it's still there because I haven't really been into town properly but it has like three sections which I don't really pay attention to the different sections but I just write down a big list of everything I need to do and then I cross them off and then once they're all crossed off I start a new list so this is like my weekend list and I just find that having stuff written out like you can make a to-do list on your phone but I just find that having it written down and on your desk just helps so much more than having it on your phone because like if I'm going on my phone it's not normally to do work it's normally like to see what my friends are doing or like to go on Instagram or whatever and I get a bit distracted so having it written down on an actual thing is far more far more helpful I'm going to take you over here so yeah the next way I'm staying organized is by on my desk sorry I'm trying to get this angry right. on my desk I have a lovely little whiteboard which again I'm writing to-do lists on and like stuff that I need to do it's not overly urgent so like I've got order printer ink and then just like a general list that's not too in detail but that's really helpful because I can just rub them off once I'm done. Yeah I've got my little went to Ikea and got myself some whiteboard pens and it's got a rub on the back so I've never had a whiteboard before so it's very exciting for me. Then I'm going to take you on to the other side of the room where it's like my last organisational thing is here. Okay so now you can see my organisation wall. So I did this last year as well, I didn't have this last year because I didn't go and get one but um, I didn't really have space for it, for it anywhere last year but this is a big yearly planner so I'm just putting on like different dates of like when I'm doing stuff, different events for um, the society as well, it's really helpful just to keep up with stuff like that. Then I have, like you can't really see clearly but I'll just explain what they are, I have my timetable here for spring semester which is just you know there so I kind of can see see what lessons I have, lectures, seminars, um, and I've got the different different modules in different colours, so I'm picking three modules this semester, one philosophy and two English, so yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment. Then below I have my essays and exam dates, so I've put on the formatives, which are the ones that don't really count for anything, but you can do them if you want for practice, or you don't have to do them. I've put those on, I've then put on my summatives, which are the ones that do count, and then also the exams, so like I know I have two exams in January and three essays overall. One of my um, English modules essay counts for the whole module which is a bit scary. And then moving on to this last bit I have my readings. So I've got my philosophy readings on these two because I have two essay readings a week for philosophy which is quite a lot because philosophy essays are quite like dense. Um, but it just means I can just tick them off as I go along and I know what I'm doing each week and also I know what I'm doing in the lectures as well. Then I have my romantic poetry outline which just has all of my romantic poetry reading on and then also my contemporary which has the different authors, not authors, poets we're doing in each lecture. But I couldn't find which ones we're doing, what actual poems we're doing but our lecturer has been giving them to us week by week. I'm only in week two. Anyway, I hope you liked seeing how I'm staying organised this year for the uni because it is second year, it's important. I can't remember if it counts for 40 or 50% of the overall degree, one or the other. So it's really, really like important to stay on top of things, especially when I'm not only doing my degree, I'm actually like helping run a society. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Do let me know if there's any other videos you want to see from me, whether that be uni themed or 
you know, not uni themed, something else, I'm more than happy to do them. And I will see you in my next video.